Happy Homebrew Wednesday, Brewtubers and YouTubers. Cheers, got my oatmeal stout still going on in the keg. Still, well this guy ain't tall, but normally just tall, dark, and handsome. But, he ain't tall. We'll go for it. Short, dark, and ugly. Okay, so, start things off today, got a couple things going on right now, uh, got off work and been drinking since I got off work, but that's okay, um, got the radio blaring, got some good tunes on the radio, um, tonight I got a couple things going on, I'm cleaning out a carboy that I neglected, uh, actually I put a, um, put some PBW in there and just let it soak for a while so it's not really neglecting anything uh, we got two things going on one got that wart start or that uh, yeast starter going on for my brew day on probably Friday we're gonna make a uh, kind of a two quick batches here I hope I got things sanitizing, got my notes there, got my Y yeast here, don't know if you can hear or see that on there, the date. Uh, the other thing is, put my plate chiller into the oven. The sucker's hot. Put it in the oven for about an hour just to kind of keep it from developing gunk inside there and evaporate any water that's in there so but right now I got me uh, decided to eat a little healthy tonight got me some pizza snacks wife's gone so no need for me to cook so got those uh, pizza snacks going on anyways uh, notes here on my wife's Kindle. Uh, I sent out a uh, video um, by the time you read or watch this it'll be Tuesday, it'll be Wednesday but it was today on Tuesday um, that I sent out a video on some things I'm doing to take notes whenever I brew. Uh, pretty awesome deal with Google Google Docs. Uh, we uh, implemented that stuff at work. Works out great. I love it. Um, anyways, as the week progresses, I take some notes, I don't know if you can see that on there or not, for my homebrew Wednesday. I'm going to talk about a nerd, right here. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's go through my notes here. Last week, made some oatmeal stout muffins. Turned out great. Uh, first time using all grain, spent grains for me. First time making bran muffins. So, uh, I do have to say I am next time instead of using blueberries, I'm going to use raisins. That's the way my mom made it. That's the way it should be. Uh, but, wife, uh, she came home and she looked over and she saw the mess and she goes, What'd you make? I said, Muffins, bran muffins for the morning. She grabbed one, ate it. She goes, Those are good. I said, Yeah, I used some of my spent grains. I don't think she would have tried it if I didn't tell her that. So she uh, she dug them pretty good. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for the uh, ideas out there. I know Bobby Meyer had some stuff out there. Uh, Chubby Love Brew with his wife had some, uh, some uh, information out there on cookies. Should have made cookies, chocolate chips. Maybe next time. We'll see. Um, what's on tap this weekend? Got uh, brown ale. This is what this whole mess over here is about. Got a brown ale. I'm gonna be uh, brewing up, making that yeast starter right now. Um, basically, I'm gonna. I might step up that yeast, I don't know. For ales, I don't know if I really need to or not. But I'd like to get this guy fermented and going 
So I'll probably will step up this yeast starter for this ale just to get things going and fermented out. Uh, so that way the following week I can try my uh, grand idea on the cheap. Um, I'm going to take some uh, my pale malt. I got my grill outside. Um, and I'm going to try to smoke some of that stuff. I'm kind of re researching into it. I like you know, a couple of years ago around the campfire, we had uh, more camping, had some uh, smoke porters and different things like that. Kind of would like to have a beer with a smoky flavor into it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that pale malt on the grill, smoke it for about an hour during the week, next week sometime. And hopefully, I can brew it um, that Friday night. Uh, actually, that Friday night is probably going to be the night I have to do it on. Just for the fact that the uh, next Saturday, I have a bachelor party for my cousin. And Sunday, it's going to be a wash. I can pretty much tell you that already. So, um, doing some research on it. I believe the uh, Germans call that a, a, a Rau Biter. Uh, first part of that, uh, a Rau Beer. Uh, First part of that name, we got land of the uh, freaking imported Germans over here. Um, very strong German Catholic uh, community. We got last name Rau in our uh, in our town. Um, it's R A U C H. So that's how we pronounce it here. I don't know if anybody can correct me on that. On the actual pronunciation on it, it would be great. Um, maybe Glenn from Home Beer Brewery. Maybe he can help me out. He's from Holland. Uh, that's close enough, I guess. So, um, basically what I'm going to do with that, uh, that beer, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be kind of cheap. I'm going to use some, uh, all the ingredients I have here. I'm going to use that yeast cake off that brown ale. So I'm going to be putting that brown ale. That's why I want to get that guy going quick. Put that brown ale into the secondary, uh, fairly quickly so I can get my, uh, so I get that smoked ale going and uh, excuse me my pizza pizza nips are done Let's get things over here but essentially I want to get that brown ale going so I can get him out of that out of that primary and uh Get that other beer thrown on top of that one. It's going to reuse the yeast. You know, it's an experimental beer. I know maybe I shouldn't be adding another uh, another new deal on all that, but hey, that's what I do, I guess. I don't ever do one thing at once. So, um, we'll see. Let's see how it works out. Two weeks away from Wednesday, I will be leaving to go on my fishing trip in Missouri. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Gonna do a little trout fishing. Start to see opening uh, weekend in Missouri. Uh, should be a lot of people there, but we got a secluded campground we're staying at. It's all about getting away. We've got a couple buddies down there that like to drink my homebrew, so I'm gonna be bringing two kegs of my homebrew. Looks well. Maybe not two kegs. Depends on how long uh, this bad boy lasts. If I have to, I'm gonna put the next cake on tap, which is my winter lager, my last extract brew. Uh, I'm going to put that guy on tap and uh, start drinking that. Whatever's left in that is going down to Missouri with me. And then uh, I also got a uh, pale ale. I did a lot of videos on that. A lot of you guys should be familiar with that. So that guy's going to go down there with me. We're going to do a little tasting and testing and drink several beers, which will be good. Um, can't wait. About a month from uh, now, we're going on another fishing trip down there too. So, I'm trying to get some beers cranked out. I don't want to really rush things too much, but I may have to. Um, trying to get these guys in there and uh, get ready for uh, getting them caked up and getting them uh, aged a little bit. So I got some uh, some beers to bring down for that trip. Don't worry, I'm gonna save me a keg at home so I got something to drink whenever I get back. Uh, it's a must. 
Next thing I got on my list here, the BrewTubers. That's an awesome community. I want to thank you guys. Everything you guys have done. I know you guys have uh, mentioned me in your YouTube videos. Um, this last week I switched over from my uh, old channel to my new channel. can't believe it. I think I got like 29 subscribers. And I've had about 200 views already on my, uh, on my new YouTube channel within a week. It's because of you guys. You guys are uh, sending out uh, all those uh, all those shout outs and everything else. I really appreciate it. Uh, a couple guys that I really like to thank were Larmo, Larmo point two, Chubby Glutton Brew. That guy is pretty fantastic. Uh, good thing he didn't die in his, uh, in his little uh, tidal wave or uh, tsunami that they, were, they had warnings out for. Um, 1598 James M. I really like his mannerisms. I, I really like watching his videos. He makes things entertaining. Simply put, uh, he'd be a good guy I like to drink with. Uh, BH Brewing. Gotta thank him as well. I really like his bar setup down down in the basement that he's got. I'm assuming that's his basement, but something to uh, strive for. So, um, got a couple questions. How are people doing their beer mail? Uh, I saw a couple uh, people doing reviews on different people's beer mail. Just kind of curious. If you keg, are you putting the kegs? Are you filling your bottles from the keg? Or are you setting a couple of bottles aside to prime and, and carbonate and then send them off? How are you guys doing that? Also, what kind of bottles do you use? Um, and thirdly, the most important question is, I don't think it's legal to ship beer through the mail. So, how are you guys shipping these? Or what's your process in going through these? You don't have to post on my channel on how you do this, but if you just want to send me a little private message or do something like that, uh, that'll just help me out. It'd be interesting, maybe. We're not thinking about this right now, but just something, something to think about down the line, just to say, hey, maybe one of these guys in the Brute Tubers channel would like to uh, exchange beer. Just to just so the noob can uh, figure out and see. All right, well, this is what real beer is supposed to taste like. Um, maybe I can give you guys a couple of my short, dark, and stubbies, uglies. I don't know. If you guys are interested, maybe we can arrange something. But I'm a definite noob on that as well. So. Other than that, this weekend, I meant to go catch a uh, hockey player's little Justin TV deal. I never did do that. Definitely need to do that. I was able on Friday night. Uh, wife and I wasn't doing anything. Um, so I sat down and had a few beers and got a Craig Tubes uh, deal. It was kind of cool. That guy knows his music. I love his music. Uh, right up my alley, so uh, kind of hit home with me. Uh, I definitely need to get on uh, Hockey Player's uh, cast. I think uh, it'd be nice just to be able to discuss things and talk things over with a couple of uh, different uh, brew tubers with how you guys do things or just life in general and everything else. So my goal is Saturday night. We're going to see. The wife's working. Depends on how the brewing goes. And depends on how many of these I have. We'll see. So, uh, I think that's all I have on my list for this week. Hopefully I'll be getting some more videos out. So, here's to you guys. Cheers.